Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a TFTP server on Linux. Specifically, we're going to be doing this on Ubuntu server, and uh, I generally try to make these uh, complicated server videos on Ubuntu server because Ubuntu is the easiest to use. So if you're new and you need a TFTP server, it's I just generally recommend Ubuntu server. You can't go wrong with it, and it's the easiest to set up everything with. So to start off, you're going to want to log into your server. Uh, if you're using a VM, you can open that up, or you can SSH in like I'm about to do and log in. Uh, once you log in, you can install the packages that you need, and these packages are xinetd, tftpd, and tftp. So let's do sudo apt install xinetd, tftpd, TFTP. Enter the password. So once the package is taken care of, you can go ahead and make a new folder. sudo mkdir tag p and then etsy x inet dd slash. From there, you can go ahead and create a new file, and that is sudo touch etsy xinet d dtftp. Then gain root with sudo s. Do sudo nano tech w etsy xinet d dtftp. As you see here, we've got our FTP information already. I've set that up already, but uh, what you'd want to do is you want to go to the link in the description, check out my article post, uh, and uh, copy the configurations and set this all up. It should all look like this. It should look exactly like this. Once it looks the way it should, you can do Control O and save the information. After that, you need to make a folder called TFTP boot. And that is kdir p tftp boot. Then you need to update the permissions sudo chmod r777 tftp boot. After that, you've got to use the ch own command that will give all users access to it. So, uh, sudo by the way i know i'm root and i'm using sudo it's just out of habit you don't actually have to write sudo if you have the symbol here it's just a it's just muscle memory so if uh you guys in the comments are wondering why i'm doing this that's why <laughs> but uh ch own r nobody and then tftp boot from there you can restart the zynet d service which will set up and reset the configuration for our TFTP server. And then after that, everything is all good and you can connect out to it. So let's open up a new terminal. So to start, do TFTP followed by the IP address of the server. So in my case, it would be Also, make sure you have the TFTP package installed on your system. So once you've made a connection and uh, on Arch Linux and Manjaro, it's going to be a TFTP. Don't worry about that. On most other systems, it'll be just TFTP. But uh, once you are there, you can download some files. So I have a file called test on the server here. And I'm going to open up my file manager. And I can do get test. And now if I go back to my file manager here, we can see the test file that I have on the server is there. And we can show you that. So TFTP boot. So if we go in here, you can see the test file is right here. And I can put anything in here. So if I want to do touch Derek, and then if I want to go back over here to the client, get Derek, I can do that. And as you can see, the Derek files right there. So that is how TFTP works. That's how you can host a TFTP server on Ubuntu. Like I said at the start of the video, I highly recommend setting this up on Ubuntu. It's very, very easy. Uh, 
other operating systems, you can do this as well, uh, like CentOS and whatever. But uh, again, highly recommend Ubuntu. It's just the way to go for servers, in my humble opinion. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>